Hey guys, sorry it's been so long without audio commentary. <laughs> I was with my family, so it was kind of difficult to do commentary. But anyway, I'm back now. Hello. And um, just a quick summary of the last two videos. Um, uh, my fan pro original character, she has a name now. Yay, exciting. Um, then we have the Santa's workshop, which is what I'm doing here. I am participating this in this again this year. And if you guys have been following me for a while, you know I've been doing this since 2013, I think, for two years now. And anyway, what it is, it's a group on DeviantArt that has volunteer artists who do, draw gifts for people for free, and it's really cool. And so I volunteered, and you get to pick drawings from people who submit letters to Santa, quote unquote, and I'm an elf, quote unquote. So the first drawing I did was Edward Elric, which is the previous video, which is linked in the description. And this one is an original character. Her name is Indigo. She's a half human, half bird sort of hybrid thingy. And the thing I thought of was harpies. So her design is slightly towards that more so than the original. Um, I kind of did a little bit of creative liberties, I guess, from the references. And I am actually decently happy with this. It looks so much better in person, of course, with any traditional drawing. It always looks better in person. And it wouldn't fit in my scanner, so tragic day there. <laughs> so like part of the drawing is like, or part of the scan is like darker and I tried to fix it in Photoshop by like lighting it, lightening it, and it didn't exactly work, but whatever. <laughs> And uh, yeah, so trying backgrounds and experimenting more with watercolor. Ooh, lots of new things this time. <laughs> and trees. I really don't like drawing trees, so that was a totally fun experience. But uh, I like working with watercolors. They're a lot of fun and like the paint can never go to waste because even if it dries up, you just add water and bam, it's fresh. <laughs> And uh, so when I started sketching this out, oh my god, it took forever to pick a pose idea. I kept looking at so many different things. I ended up like looking at Lexington from Gargoyles because it's like he's got- because her wings are on her arms, so there's the limitation. You can't really go crazy with the wings because you have to be, you know, arm movement. So I was looking at Lexington from Gargoyles. I was looking at Sindel from Mortal Kombat. I know she doesn't have wings, but she's got nice army poses. And then Alex was like, why don't you look up the harpy ladies from Yu-Gi-Oh! And I was like, okay! And then I ended up looking just normal Greek harpy fan art. And then I ended up just <laughs> doing it with her on the ground. And I also looked at ballet poses, that was another thing, because the first thought that came to my head was Princess Tutu, of course. And, um, because, you know, the raven and stuff. Anyway. <laughs> So I ended up going with her on the ground, and I surprised myself with how easily I was able to draw this pose. And I didn't even end up using any references, and it just, I don't know, I feel kind of proud with how easily that was to draw. And it's like all this time of hard work, practicing poses and anatomy, and doing all those figure studies, I can feel it starting to pay off. Because <laughs> it's like all these, you do so much stuff, and then it's so hard to see progress, but then sometimes it just happens and it's really cool and I feel really happy and I wish I kind of did better with this picture, <laughs> but it ended up getting to the point where I was too lazy to color it with the watercolor, so I just picked up my Copics and I started laying down color and I was really scared because it wasn't coming out so good, but I kept going. I was like, no, persevere and get through this. We'll see it to the end. <laughs> and it's not its not that bad. Again, way better in person. And the colors are actually lighter than the reference photos because I kind of wanted to have this bright wintry scene, not too like dark colors. And yeah, so. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you guys had a nice Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, all those happy holiday things, and a happy new year. And I'll see you guys real soon. Bye!